you know, a lot of times people are looking for someone else to uh, be their cheerleader. You know, someone is looking for someone else to be their spark, their their motivator. You know, people are looking around to different people. For example, you know, maybe a, a celebrity or maybe a friend or family member or somebody that you don't even know um, that you may look up to and you're looking to them to be your spark, your, the thing that gets you going. Well, you know, the fact of the matter is, guys, you have to be your own motivator. You need to be your strongest encourager. You need to be your strongest uh, cheerleader. You need to be the person that believes in you more than anybody because other people can change on you today, tomorrow, next week, next month. People will lift you up today and they tear you down tomorrow. Uh, you can count on people today and then you may not be able to count on them tomorrow. So if you're, if you're living your life for any reason other than the fact that you know that you're born to be great. You know you're born to do something great. It doesn't matter what field you're in, what your career in. All those things are just a part of who we are. It's not who we are. Our life work is the things that we're born to do that God has gifted us to do. And so, you know, you, you can't wait for someone else to encourage you to get up and be the best you that God made you to be. You have to wake up every morning with the mindset and understand that God made me wonderful. God made me great. God gave me these ideas. God gave me uh, these gifts, these talents, these abilities, this this brain, these ideas, um, these innovations, these inventions, whatever it is, this career, whatever it is. You got to wake up every morning and you got to know that when, when your eyes open and you're, and you're able to stand up or whatever you do, and you, you're breathing, you have the capability to do what you choose to do, what God has gifted you to do. Hopefully you're not allowing something or something, somebody else to take you on another course. Stay with what you're excellent at. You know, like for example, it's natural for me to, to, to talk about, you know, Jesus. It's natural for me to, it's like second nature, it's like second nature for me to write. It's like second nature for me to write uh, music. It's like second nature for me to sing or to encourage people. That's what I do all day. It's, it's all, it's natural for me to build other people up with the gifts and talents that God has given me with the word of God that God has put into me. So everything that I do goes to one direction and that is to build people up, to, to line them them up to bring them into a relationship with Jesus Christ to bring them into uh, in tune with their, their their greatest gifts and talents with their purpose plan and destiny for life so everything I do is to encourage people and to build them up so whatever and I can't you know there are days when I don't feel my best and so I have to give myself about three seconds or three three minutes or whatever to you know to get over myself and get with it you know you have to be the most encouraging person in your life you are the greatest and the strongest person on your team don't count on someone else to be who you need to be for yourself because only you can wake up every day and fire yourself and rehire hire yourself right back in, in just a few seconds where other people will just walk away from you or let you down whatever you can't look at people and count their their right things or their mistakes and count it as and add it or or compare it to your life. Never compare yourself to anyone else. Only compare yourself to what God has in line for your life. And you only know that through knowing God, through knowing Jesus and knowing what His purpose, plan, and destiny is for your life. And you can only know that by being in true relationship with Him. True fellowship with Him. Constant communication, prayer, His Word, you know, praying, um, you know, talking to Him, listening to Him. So, you know, you... How you are everything that you need when you can't count on anybody else. You have God on your side and you need to be encouraging yourself. So don't wait on other people to do that for you. God's order is the only order in the world. It is the true world order. Line up with that and you will line up with the destiny for your life. Don't let anyone talk you out of who you are or, or allow anyone else to cause you to down, be down on yourself or yourself to be down on you because you think, I need someone to encourage me. Encourage yourself. Get up. Shake it off. Remember your purpose. Look ahead of you, not behind to the side, nor to the anywhere else. Look straight ahead and keep expecting God to download into you everything that you need. Count on Him. Count and just use everything that's in you. And you can only be who you are by whatever you're doing. It has to serve somebody else. Encourage yourself. Keep moving forward no matter what. And you will be successful. Your destiny is front of you. And it's greater than everything that was behind you. Hey, I love you, but God loves you more. God's excited about your future. And so am I. He has an order for your life. And it's the true world order. 
God bless.